this is Anne from the UX research team and in this video I'm going to show you how you edit the feature list um, in the post purchase survey and what you need for that is basically as you can see here um, the updated feature list in a sheet um, and then you also need to log into Qualtrics and select uh, the post purchase survey. Um, once you're in here, in the post-purchase survey, you basically see that there is question two, which relates to all the premium plan features that are being presented. And then if you scroll down, you will see question three with um, all the ultimate plan features. We stay for now with the premium plan features. And in the sheet that Frenuish prepared, what you can see or what you find here is basically that any red cells should be deleted or features that are in red cells should be deleted. Any orange ones that need to be edited and the name needs to be changed and then green cells need to be added. Um, I already did this for a bunch of cells, so I'll just focus on the ones that are down here um, because those have not been changed yet. So. Um, if you want to find a feature in, in Qualtrics, um, in, in the feature list, what I just, you know, I just search for it and I'm going to use here the support for scaled GitLab, which needs to be edited. Um, so you see the feature here, if you click on it and you go down, so if you click on it, you can start editing it immediately. So we have it now, it's support for scaled architectures. Um, there you go, enter and you're done. Ooh, that's actually not what I wanted. Um, yeah, so now we changed this feature. Awesome. Um, if you want to delete a feature, we have the next one. It's called supports geolocation aware DNS. That's right here. Um, same principle, you click on it, but this time you actually go in a little arrow and you will find remove choice at the very bottom. If you click that, it's gone. Awesome. Um, let's add another feature. Let's add the single level epics, which is a new one. There are multiple ways how you can do this. <laughs> um, but the easiest one is you might have seen this. What I just did is if you actually click into one feature in the list and you just press enter, um, it will open up another uh, choice basically. And in there you can basically add your new choice. So just copy it from over here into this new choice. Awesome. Um, once you edited everything and especially so if you if you just deleted items or if you just edited them, if you change the names, you don't need to do much more than uh, just putting a uh, pressing publish. But if you edit a new feature like we just did now, there is one additional thing you need to do, which has to do with random randomization. So what you do is you click. Yeah, this question has. So you can see up here that this question has randomization. Um, and if you click on it, you go to advanced random randomization, click on set up. And what you find here is basically that um, in here, it basically shows which items are being randomized. And what you need to do is the moment you add a new item, like single level epics, you highlight it and you move it over into the randomized choice bucket by clicking on this little arrow up here. The other thing you need to do is by using these arrows up here to move it up into the list. So to make sure that other, and I'm not sure will always be basically on the bottom of the list and all the other options are randomized as it's shown here. You click on save, save, all safe, awesome. And the last thing you need to do is you need to click publish up here um, for the um, changes to actually go into effect. And from this moment on, anyone who responds to the uh, post-purchase survey will see the updated feature list. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know.